Whew, all right, went through, cleaned it up so it's at least a little presentable. Uh, anyways, I'm going to do a walkthrough on what I've done and kind of, uh, I guess, what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to try to explain everything. Uh, if you ask me how I did it, I I'll try to tell you. It's all basically what I call guesstimations. You just kind of guess and estimate. And luckily, everything's just kind of worked out all right so far. Uh, there's been a lot of uh, recuts and stuff. But anyways, I'll just kind of walk through and, and explain things to you and show you in, uh, what's going on. So... Anyway, so I at least got my bathroom framed in. Uh, I've got my toilet set there. I went with a, a, an airhead composting toilet. It's not a nature's head, it's an airhead, which is uh, actually pretty much the same thing, except for the actually pee container is a little different. And so that's what the, that's the reason I went with this one instead of uh, the nature's head. But uh, I got it all framed in, and uh, a bunch of the tubing ran for electrical. So that way, when I get the actual wall in here, I don't have to worry about the wires or anything. I can run those later. And uh, this is a perfect example of an issue that just, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of redoing. I had this actually going straight down. Um, the top up here, so this is the bottom bed. I'm going to actually have the bottom, both the beds be able to connect to where you have a queen on the bottom. I'm going to have uh, two beds up top to where you can do both sides bunk beds, or the two on the top can connect also and make a queen on top, and then have two twins on the bottom. Just kind of pick and choose whatever you want. And so with that, um, I have basically electrical outlet, electrical outlet for the top person, a switch for the top person, and then there are two lights up here for the top person. Um, for the bottom person, I was trying to figure out how to do the lights because I want this to actually fold up. My electrical is going to be underneath here, battery bank, solar, all that stuff. And so I was thinking about putting uh, the light switch right here, but then figuring if you were to lift this board up, it would hit and knock against it. So then I realized I have to put it here. I already have the outlets for it, and I had just this one coming down. And so I thought, I'm like, oh wait, I guess I can do a light here and a light here, and then just put the switch right there in the middle. So it's kind of like the top, you know, but it's it's a little different. So of course, that's, that's how it's been. Um, it's been kind of, I change things as I go, and to, to what I need, basically. And so uh, in the back here, this is actually be my workbench right here, my work area. Uh, of course, I got my electrical outlet. Electrical outlet. Uh, these outlets right here. These these are for the switches, um, all inside switches and outside switches of the bus. These ones down here, they're actually just so I can access like the light wiring and stuff. Because um, this is all going to be insulated to where I can't access it unless it's right into these spots. And then these spots I can get my hand in there and access the wires and stuff, whether it's insulated or not. Um, I haven't fully finished this wall right here, but of course I started kind of building that one. Got this wall, and then. Um, one thing that's kind of interesting with the lights, I'll show you that I'm actually going to be doing, uh, is, is this is the light I'm actually going with right here. Um, this is a swivel right here. I can, uh, if you're interested, uh, leave a comment below asking and I can leave the link to the, where I got these lights. They're $50 a piece, 200 and I believe 40 Lumis, and they actually rotate back and forth. And so that, that's why I did the light on the bottom for the bottom bunk the way I did. Because the way they swivel, you can swivel the lights down to where the lights come down here, actually onto the bed, or you can push them up to where they just come straight up, or swivel them up to where they actually shoot up. And so, <sighs> that is my progress so far. Um, I'm waiting for the skylight to dry, so I'm just kind of combining everything, trying to play catch up for you guys. Like I said, I apologize. It, life, <laughs> life has been crazy and insane. And uh, I'm, I'm the only one doing this, so it gets kind of frustrating and stressful sometimes. Uh, I need to get this insulated before this next winter because I just used the styrofoam insulation. I kind of cheated this last one and I barely survived. It was really miserable. So I have to get this insulated and summer's <laughs> getting close to being halfway over and I'm not even really halfway to where I need to be. So it's been a lot of fun. But anyways, I'll continue trying to make videos for you guys and film myself uh, working. But be patient with me because there is just so much in my life going on right now. It's insane. So. Show you guys one thing uh, that I'm having issues with. I went with one inch tubing, and because of that, that's I guess a little more extreme than the common. Uh, three quarter is the uh, larger common size, and so I've been having to actually uh, use a step up bit and uh, cut this out, and then just use a step up bit to clean it up and stuff. But uh, if you do use a cutting torch or anything like that, this is galvanized and this is very uh, hazardous, poisonous metal. So make sure you do it out in the open and have a respirator or some kind of breathing apparatus. And so uh, I'm going to go cut this and then continue showing the little pieces I'm measuring. I'm not going to mess with my camera as much because uh, I have to use a selfie stick. And 
it's just kind of a, a hassle to move it around, so I'm just keeping it where it's at. So, anyways, continue on. The friends in my life like stars in the sky, leave the lights on. I'm trying to get back home. The river keeps on flowing through the ocean. The angels that call me, they sing that they love me. Oh, oh, oh. I'm traveling alone, so far from home in love. Singing tunes for you When the stars are aligned Like the colors in your eyes Greens and blues It's not when the weather Will always be together It's true Don't know how I do it. <clears throat> Just don't know. Alright, future light switch. For my lights. So that's kind of been the process of the whole thing is, and then if that was the wrong size, I just go trim it. And of course, like they say, the haircut effect, you know, it's easier to trim a little off versus you cut it too much and then you have to try to figure out another place to use it or it goes away. So um, luckily, it, that, man, that worked out perfect. So I'm pretty happy with that. All right. And then, I, I'm, like I said, I'm about halfway done. I have to do all this to the other side. And when I do start doing this other side, I'll be more diligent to you guys uh, and actually film myself to it. So uh, try not to put that off and try to actually get some filming done for you guys. So, all right. Anyways, um, I'm going to basically lacquer the, the <coughs> skylight a few more times. And then once I uh, get that all, or it's all dry on that tomorrow, uh, I'm going to silicone it, drop it in and then let it dry and then go from there. So.